You know, I never was a Resident Evil guy when I was a kid. They were just the games that I didn't really touch. I knew about them, but I never really touched them. But then, a lot of people were telling me to play the new Resident Evil 2 remake when it came out, and I was like, eh, fine. And my god, I fell in love with the series. I did three playthroughs, two with Claire, one with Leon. And I don't know, immediately I wanted to play more games of this series. And then they showed the Resident Evil 3 remake. And I told myself, all right, I got to get this one because it's got this big guy named Nemesis that everyone loves. And yes, even though the game was extremely short and controversial, I still liked it for the six hours I played it. Or 12. Actually, I played it a little bit more. I'm over exaggerating, but I think the first playthrough took me like eight hours. So then I told myself, man, these games are really fun. I kind of want to play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Even though it was first person, which was a little different from the other two, it was probably the scariest one that I played. A lot of jump scares. Ugh, I get tired of those jump scares, but I like them at the same time, you know? It's a love and hate relationship. Then I played Resident Evil 8 Village, which was awesome. I still got to play the DLC on that one, but that was an amazing game. And you know, I was hooked onto this series. So then I told myself, let me play Resident Evil 4, the original since everyone praises it. And that game was amazing. It has one problem that I find, in my opinion, you know, it, it's a problem some people don't. I'll get to that later. So then I kind of played the original Resident Evil 4 around the time the Resident Evil 4 remake was kind of like hinted at. Fast forward a few months later and boom, Resident Evil 4 remake is out. So I had to buy it. I bought it, I played it and I finished the game. It took me around 30 hours. Yes, 30 hours. I know I'm a noob. And um, I think the reason why it took me so long is because I was kind of like exploring, wandering around. So that's my little excuse yeah i got lost here and there so what and this game is just oh my god i'm so in love with these resident evil remakes they make spoilers by the way if you haven't played the resident evil 4 remake of course spoilers it's just like so much to do because i'm kind of a guy that likes open world stuff but not too much open world stuff and i know this game's not open world that's not what i'm saying but you get to explore around and find things and all that do little side objectives and i really like that i really like games like that that are like linear but you can do some stuff around you know and this game does that perfect there are so many times where ashley would get grabbed and i just scream in real life saying hold on ashley you know there's not a lot of games that can do that you know can get you into the game so much that you're actually saying things in the game in real life if you get what i'm saying and to me when a game does that it's already like okay i'm hooked also <laughs> in the remake leon isn't as corny as he is like in the original resident evil 4 monsters Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. Another little thing that I liked is that they put a new type of enemy where this guy has a cow head and he just swings around a sledgehammer. I think, I don't think he was in the original. If, if he was, I'm having a bro moment, but um, if he was a new enemy type, hey, that was awesome. And the one thing that this remake has that the original doesn't have was that I can move around when I shoot. Yes, 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 I know. There's gonna be in the comments. The original, it was cool when you couldn't move because it would build up the suspense. You know, there's someone coming behind you and you gotta turn around because you can't run and shoot at the same time. So you gotta turn around really fast and kill him and you have to have good aim. And this one, I can actually run and shoot. And I get it, I get their, um, their point, it builds the suspense, but I didn't like that. It just kind of starts to get annoying where you can't run and shoot. An example is like Resident Evil 2 Remake. When Mr. X, for comes out and he's running around chasing you it's scary it is scary in the police station but at a certain point you go like oh when you're doing another playthrough you're like oh my god i'm like this guy stop bugging me i'm trying to finish this objective that's just the way i see it though but i can definitely see the other side why it, why people like that and speaking of mini games you know i love the target practice <laughs> i really got hooked onto that i did the first one i got like an a rank and i'm like no i can do better so i got an s rank and then i told myself i'm gonna do all of these s rank and i did but i don't know just little things like that is fun i love remakes that stay true to the story and changes things but yet still sticks with the story resident evil 4 remake is perfectly you know the definition of what a remake should be if, if you're if a company is going to do a remake it should follow the steps of resident evil 4 remake same story but a different way i like to think in remakes that it's kind of like an alternate universe of how the same story happens but it just happened differently so again like an alternate universe that's just the way i see it and this game does that perfect 
The only annoying little habit that I found is that sometimes there's just like a lot of enemies and I was doing this on normal. Maybe I suck. Hey, that could be it. But sometimes you just get ambushed with a lot of enemies and that's one thing that people don't like about Resident Evil because at first it was like a horror game and then at a certain point the franchise became like an action game. I think it's around Resident Evil 5. Some people say Resident Evil 4. Some people. This remake kind of felt like that where like instead of me being in a horror game, I'm just fighting a lot of enemies sometimes and I don't know, it just gets annoying. Like kind of the first part in the village I was running around and I was just killing enemies. I'm being surrounded and I'm like, like, when does this end? Do I have to keep killing them or are they going to keep spawning? Am I supposed to be doing something? And then the, clock, the church bell rang thingy, whatever. And then I got saved. I'm like, oh, okay, but I don't know. I just hate when I don't have that much ammo and I have to like kill a bunch of enemies. Oh, and don't get me wrong. Just because I'm saying there's a lot of enemies and this game kind of is like an action game at sometimes doesn't mean it's not scary. There's this part where you play as Ashley and you're pretty much just playing as her and you got to save Leon. So you kind of have to do this whole little side little mini story with her and it's creepy it, there's like parts where it's super dark and you just hear like the rustling of zombies inside a night outfit and that sh my god that, that that i was just like oh my god where do i go where do i go i'm taking wrong turns i hear the rustling of the nights so that was scary or there's a part later in the game where you fight these things called regenerators where pretty much they just keep regenerating if you keep <clears throat> if you keep shooting at them and you have to hit him like in the right spot and you have to use like a thermal scope to shoot him at the right spot but these things they're like again dark place and you hear them breathe they have this unique breathing sound and this is gonna be my attempt to try to replicate that breathing sound okay here i go don't make fun of me too much <laughs> it goes something like that it's like a pug breathing it's creepy it's weird it was so creepy that I think they just used the original breathing sound from the original and they just got that sound and they just put it to the new regenerators and Resident Evil 4 remake. It was that creepy. They're just like, just let's use the same thing. Why change something that's not broken? Again, that's just my opinion. Those are pet peeves. I'm not going to like, oh, just for that, I'm marking down a point, you know. I, I like this game. This game, it's just the little annoying things, you know, little annoying events that happen in the game, I guess I should say. I can't think of the word. Other than that, though, this game was awesome. I recommend this game if you're trying to get into the Resident Evil franchise franchise to get this game probably on a discount because it's like it's a a lot of people say that like oh it's 60 bucks for a single player game and it's like yeah that's i mean nowadays it's kind of hard what's worth a 60 dollar game you know I would say Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a $60 worth the game. What isn't worth the $60 game? I don't know. You make that decision for yourself. But these games kind of do go on discounts a lot. So I'm pretty sure this one, it's going to go on discount. So if you want to wait and then get it when it's cheap, you should do that. Because this game's amazing. And then after you play this one, play Resident Evil 2 Remake because that one was awesome too. And then play 7 and 8. Those are awesome too. So I give this game a 9.7. And the reason why I'm not going to give it the last three points, it's because by the time of this recording, of the mercenaries um pack came out for it for free of course like it should be and i remember in the original when you play and finish the campaign you unlock mercenaries mode and another side story where you play as ada wong pretty much goes through what she's been going through during your playthrough as leon and i played the mercenaries event it's a fun little event um you know just to kill time uh i thought it was fun and then i didn't get the ada playthrough so then i had to type it up and i'm like i'm pretty sure you get it don't you apparently they didn't come with the game so i'm like oh okay so it's one of these and by one of these i mean it's a game that releases stuff late even though the original had it now apparently data miner said that it is in there and they found traces of it or something like that i don't know don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure they say they found like traces of it or data mined it and if you're gonna give it for free okay fine but don't charge for it please please don't charge for it don't charge for something that a original had for free that's gonna be bad even if it's just five bucks it's kind of like really just to squeeze five bucks out of us jeez and five bucks isn't anything i'm gonna if i'll buy it i don't care but it's just kind of annoying this annoying little habit where a game releases things late and it's like oh no 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 you're gonna get it it's just not gonna come out yet if it releases a dlc for free i'll give it a 9.8 but if they charge it's staying a 9.7 and i i you know i kind of want to say 9.5 but i want to say 9.7 because this game was just so good so anyways that's it 9.7 amazing game of course we all knew it was going to be amazing it sold a lot it's resident evil i really hope they make more remakes some people are saying they should remake resident evil 0 resident evil one that'd be cool or some people are saying code veronica some people are actually saying that uh, we don't know if they should remake resident evil 5 or 6 because they still kind of look modern but a lot of people like resident evil 5 for the co-op experience
experience whatever it is that whatever they make i'm gonna buy it because this series is awesome so that's pretty much it if you like the video if you like other nerdy stuff in this channel you know subscribe almost to 400 subs that's insane i never thought i would get to 400 especially this fast so that's pretty much it see ya